in their costume. But that's because I'm flyer than the mothership. You ostrich, I'm awesome rich. Call a bitch. Rest within my lozenges. The problem is you in the danger zone like Kenny Loggins is. I'm fly. And the ref is uh, patting the right. and the bell rings. I'm joined with, uh, I'm going to give this guy some respect, the, the commissioner, full commissioner of WMW, Western Mass Wrestling Line. You're always here at WMW. And we got, uh, he booked a, a great match for the main event, Fatal 4-Way between some of the WMW's brightest and, and Backyard. <laughs> right. Backyard is, you know, another guy like myself, been here since the very first show, still wrestling on the active roster. So you got to give us some credit there. I'll give him some credit. I'll give myself some credit. Backyard squared off with Douglas. He, he actually won his first heavyweight title against him. And a really good match. And, and Bouncer, squaring off with Armani. Those guys have an extensive history. Extensive is the word. They've had, they've had a, they had a uh, trilogy of great Falls Count Anywhere matches, including a phenomenal one at the 100 show, Dave Austin's last match also. I wrestled in a triple threat with uh, Aaron and uh, Humberto in that match. Great show coming up on the anniversary of that. Too. And uh, Backyard was just booted out the ring. So, oh yeah, Backyard went to... Um, he just... Uh, Backyard's might, down, actually. Yeah, he might, he's, he's oh. down over there. That's not good for... Actually, that's great for the resurgence, but bad for Bouncer. And Backer took a nasty spill right there, and uh, he could be out the rest of the match. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. But no. it is first pinfall, so uh, Bouncer this might have turned into a handicap match. It looks of, like Backer hurts me. I think I'm not sure. But plenty of time to for Backer to recuperate, I guess. Yeah, well, I mean, all these guys are still fresh, so there's no worries about that. Whip in the corner, and then uh, here comes Aaron Douglas, big splash. Oh, oh. misses. Oh, and he hit his head right on the side. <laughs> Armani oh trying to come God. up with something with Aaron, but Aaron missed. Aaron, uh, don't worry, Armani. Aaron's been having a problem with that lately. Oh man, his head. He hit me with a code breaker last week. He's supposed to get Bobby Otis, and then next thing you know, Bobby Otis is beating me. Not oh. Gotta be illegal. I just lost the supreme title, so my day is not going great. I know how you feel. Um, Jonathan, I understand you have a major announcement to make tonight. Is there any way I can find out before you make it? Please. I'll make it later. Fine. I figure you could let the heavyweight champion know. When you were heavyweight champion, I had a great respect for you, David Austin. But you weren't the commissioner. Yay! I actually was commissioner a couple times. Um, I did what I could. I was a better commissioner than Brian O'Lynn. <laughs> Wherever That's that drunk son of a bitch is. <laughs> My boy CJ actually won a match today, the only guy here at my resurgence group to win so far. But I got faith that one of my boys will hear it. We can call it a 50-50 day. And, I don't know. You know. The way it looks right even. now. Look, just got Bounce the upper hand pump. right now. I won the vacated Supreme title off of him and I defended my heavyweight championship. He's got nothing on me and I, I hopefully won't be seeing any more of him. And the loss here today, I would hope you agree with me. Well, it, well, I don't know. It, it, it's all up in the air right now. It's, it's, oh, the, the oh, big knee. The big knee. I, I'm just calling it what it is called. I'm just trying to go by the book here. Um, that guy is still down. With you. So, Dawson, you must be pretty proud of yourself that your your representative Bobby Owens won your match for you last week. Yes, I'm very extremely proud. I'm 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 disgraced Two that we have a guy running around as a hillbilly redneck and. Uh, the things that the South won the war and all this other stuff. 
I've never really cared. I've never run into Bobby Otis till last week, and uh, for him to say that I run a plantation is insulting to me and my friends. And I want that. I don't know. Stricken from the record. Stricken from the record. I don't how know dare if I do that. How dare you talk about four great athletes that are have just happened to be a minority? It's just just a coincidence. Oh, oh! Uh, that's my boys. Thunder. That's my boys. Oh. Armani and Aaron just going to town. It, I, it makes me wonder why Douglas would let him pin the bouncer when Douglas could get the pin himself. And uh, look, oh. you have no idea oh. what the resurgence is about. The resurgence is all for one, one for all. More than any other stable in history. How did the first stable break up? The first two stables break up. The Alliance and the original throwdown. They both turned on each other, right? They, um, the Alliance, you got turned on by Greedy Ethan Payne and Danger Dave. And the Alliance, or the throwdown broke up because Ever Vapor was jealous that, uh, and, and Backyard that everybody had a, a belt in the group except for him. Backyard's back up. Despite the fact he didn't bump. And uh, he's getting back in the ring now. I'm glad he's all right. Not really. Actually, I kind of hope it's pretty well, I kind of figured you were going to say that. <laughs> Badger's got a cross face. Badger's actually, he hasn't been here as long as me in the uh, backyard, but, uh, you know, he's been here since 2005. It's his eighth year with WMWA. You know, you know he's just a, he's a dedicated guy. I'll give him that. Three time Supreme Champion, Tag Team Champion, Hybrid Champion. He's just not good enough to win the heavyweight title, though. But there's no shame in that. There's a lot of great wrestlers that have, will never be heavyweight champions. You know what I mean? There's no shame in that, right, Dave Austin? You could be a great WWE wrestler and never win the heavyweight title. Am I wrong to say that? Well, I don't know. I don't have to worry about it because I'm the heavyweight champion now and a three time heavyweight champion and the first ever supreme heavyweight champion. You don't have to Triple worry about it. Winner. You, know, you say you don't have to worry about that. I'm the greatest. You lost the supreme title. I am, I'm a Hall of Fame bound. You know what I mean? I'll be down at the basketball Hall of Fame getting inducted in there too. I played pretty good when I was a kid. Oh, hey, big clothesline. <laughs> now that Backyard and Bouncer are teaming up after Bouncer get his ass kicked for a while. But uh, Backyard just turned on him. And did a uh, FPO rock bottom trip ball move. Bring it back old school vet moves, baby. Old, old school, school vet moves. moves. That from... Don't you ever take my move again, you bastard. Oh, that's uh, Dave Dawson's move. Wow. It was hard to tell. He kind of botched it. Am I right? Yeah, he did. He didn't do it to like Dave Dawson, Gormish Dragon quality. Oh, well. I don't want to see ass. Please. Not bouncing that. Oh, nice spin kick by Armani. Uh, shuffle oh. kick by Bouncer, grazes oh. him, and oh, big knee to the head. God damn, people taking my knees too. I'm ah. just going ape shit on him. Oh. Big DDT. Oh, and Aaron came up with his, DD, his own DDT. Damn. <laughs> Are you alive? I, want, I look at this match with four young black men in this match, and I wonder, what does Al Sharpton think? <laughs> He's thinking black men are us. <laughs> I am the bouncer. <laughs> I am Aaron Douglas. I, I warned Aaron Douglas. I, I drove him home the other night. I was worried about him. I did not want him to get killed on the way home from the convenience store, so I drove him home. That's just the kind of guy I am. Yeah. I worry about my friend's safety. You too, Dave Dawson. You could get mis mistaken as a Mexican or a Chinese. Oh, shut up. You don't hear about... I'm not even just comment on that. Well, m maybe if there was a revved in uh, Ching Chong Chang, we could get hit more notoriety about uh, Chinese killings on the way back home from the convenience store. Not a lot of people go to Chinese uh, convenience stores. Well, WWE, Chinese bringing you great wrestling and social commentary. <laughs> we're, we're involved in the world. We are. And uh, for you mask guys watching this home, uh, today, just to let you know, it's tax free weekend next week. So buy your WNWA DVDs online tax free. <laughs> for $5. You can get great shows that aren't on DVD like the Hunter Show, with bonus features like the Hunters and One Show. <laughs> you can get The Best of Day Dawson Volume 1. Don't worry, it's not a very long DVD. Sure. It is Right, Zach are starting to feel it right now. Figure four leg lock in, in deep on the bouncer. And Aaron, uh, Aaron Douglas got the pressure reverse onto him. And Ar Armani's kicking the shit out of the backyard into a cover. 
Russ, Russ taking a sweet time. Oh. Oh. Russ needs to go back to Six Flags. Armani's got some. some shit. Armani's got some deadly kicks there. He must be this tall to ride on the run. I don't know who's got who here. <laughs> Tell me that right doesn't look stupid, right? Do any one of you give up? You give We're up. We're all saying no. We don't actually require Call of Duty to be fucking back to the referee. So obviously the quality is not that great. The big nipple pinch. From backyard. Oh. Aaron Douglas and backyard both two time heavyweight champions. Oh, big chop. Oh. Backyard, one of the only four guys on the roster to so be a grand slam oh, fight God. And he's getting teed up on right now. Oh. By Armani and <laughs> and Aaron Douglas. The chops are doing it. The chops are doing some work, but you gotta, you know, Armani just goes to the feet and the kicks and he gets those watching. feet. One went to Harvard, one went to Yale. Armani has some of the best kicks in WNBA. Oh, oh, Him and Beckett had a great match two shows ago. Oh, no! That could have been really, really bad. That was a version of a 3D. Dude, look Damn. At his, neck. his neck is not oh, in place. Oh, Jesus damn. Christ. Bouncer fell on to Beckett when he got kicked by Armani. And folks, this is why we have just we just broke sixty thousand YouTube views last last uh, last night. And we just keep growing because we got some great footage for you. And that was another proof proof of the button. Wouldn't you agree, Dave Dawson? I agree. I agree too. <laughs> Douglas is still like in recovery mode right now. Boy, uh, uh oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh my God! Oh, Suplex is right on it. I'm right on backyard. And uh, backyard has the strength to kick out. Oh, Bob's oh, getting kicked here. Look at backyard breaking the ice. Short arm scissors, and he's trying to uh, lock anyone with the neck involved. And our oh, look at that suplex! Big suplex by backyard. A sitting suplex. He's just such a lengthy guy. I've seen him do that so many times. Bob's just got an arm bar on. Him. Bring it off. One, two, three. Look at back here. Come on, you can't do that. Got a hammer. Hey, doing a lift. Get this thing off me. Get off me. On the pole. Aaron, that's that's not the language we we want to use in surgeons. You're not a hoodlum. It's kind of a five count going on there, but. Maybe this. going for a reverse DDT. Oh, oh. Reverse, uh, actually, a uh, nice backbreaker, inverted backbreaker. Oh, they got one, two. He's got the ropes. He's got the ropes. He's got the ropes. I gotta give that footage. ref some credit. Even though he dropped out in the third grade, oh. he, uh, he definitely knows how to pay. Bouncer comes around. out of nowhere. <laughs> Backyard and bouncer are getting intimate. <laughs> I don't know what happened to back here. I'm having a great time. Oh. A little injured. Maybe not. Oh, oh. oh. I, oh man. Hey, that kind of look. Oh, low low. Low. She was going to adopt anyway. Yeah, I was. Nobody wants back here jeans. <laughs> his back, back here doesn't want his own jeans. He wears navy pants. Oh. Back here, again, yeah, is He's not real range. army. He's like fake Call of Duty army. Oh jeez, this is not gonna be good. Backyard and uh, they're my teammates in the ring. Trying, probably gonna try something. And I don't like this. I don't like where you gotta this do is what going. you gotta do, man. Douglas is up to something here. So is Ace. Uh oh. Uh oh. This could be crazy. Double dive, daredevils in the ring right there. Armani wow. and Aaron represent the resurgence. Killer, killer dive. Who's the greatest? Killer you dive. Resurgence. Phenomenal, phenomenal guys. So proud to call them my teammates. Your teammates? Yeah, I have a stuffed Aaron Douglas animal and a stuffed Aaron Doug Aaron Armani. I don't know their names. That's nice to know that. Bro. But I love them. Doesn't that count? I don't care where you are, or what you've done, as long as you love me. <laughs> Jesus. Not cool, I was there. For the count. One. Cover. One. 
Oh! Uh, big boot by backyard. Torque and Taylor got pretty messed up in their match. Oh They're yeah. Be feeling that Torque got the, the jaw of life kicked on. Oh yeah. Jaw of life. Hey. Nom 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 nom. Backyard's going for the. No fair. Choke oh, oh big kick. Okay. Unintentional. Uh oh. Might be back here choke thing. Here. Look at Bouncer. Shallon Stone. Oh. Oh. Whatever. Bouncer could have it right here. One, two, three. No. Oh, come on. Come on, Oh, the match is over, bro. It's over. What? All right, today the show, the importance of this show and the matches we have today cannot be understated. WWA and the rest of the nonchalant wrestlers are coming after the resurgence. We've garnered too much power and we've, we've, we've gone soft. We don't have SNL in our corner anymore because of the Bobby Otis loss, which I'm not going to go into any further than that. But today, you're defending your hybrid title again. Word on the street is it's going to be Torque. I'm ready. All right. He's going to want revenge from Seasons Beings. I know he hasn't forgotten about that. I have Adrian. You have Brian Olin. Do, I, can, I can tell you this. He, he may wrestle only occasionally. But his dedication is still there, so you got to be completely ready today. You two guys are going to fade a four-way in the main event tonight. There are two of our arch enemies in that match that need to be dealt with, backyard and bouncer. I do not care which one of you guys wins that match. Whatever happens, happens. But they cannot win, especially not bouncer. I don't care about backyard. He's old news. But bouncer is trying to garner support from fans, Dawson, whoever. And another rumor on the street is Dave Dawson is going to make his first announcement tonight as 100% commissioner. Which I don't, I don't want to know, but we don't want to force, we don't want to have today go south and then have Dawson come after me because I, I assume it has something to do with my heavyweight title. We have all three championships here. I know you guys are all hungry for that, but once we deal with our enemies, we will deal with moving these belts around and, and getting, getting everyone some prestige. All right, so all hands in. The resurgence is now. Forget everybody else. Move. Now, you guys all know we had a very important meeting today to start the show and stress the importance of this show. Dawson and all the WMWA guys want what we have. We had all three championships and now we have just one. TaylorMade is in the fucking hospital because Torque beat the shit out of him and took his hybrid title. And then Adrian got lucky and he beat me for my Supreme Championship. Well, I'll give him some props because you have to be damn good to beat me. And then you two were on fire and you got cocky and you lost. And Bouncer won. I specifically said do not let the Bouncer win the match. I didn't care about Backyard because his career is long over. But I said don't let Bouncer win. Now you're forced with my hand guys. You're really, I, I have faith in all three of you and Taylor Made. But at the same time, I'm not. This isn't a baby. This isn't a daycare. I, I mean, you, I'm turning you guys into stars, but I'm not babying you. Now, now let me just analyze what's going on here. Armani, two years ago when you came in, you were green as grass, and I'm not talking about this grass. I'm talking like, I don't know, like the real green grass that they have in the commercials that you never get that green. But that's how green you were. But in all fairness to you, you've had a turnaround and, and a, your own resurgence like I've never seen. And you know what? There isn't anybody else I'd rather have watching to my back with their kicks. Don't worry about today. Don't worry about today. CJ Price, you won your match today. You, but the thing is, I, I, you let a win, one of the rustiest guys in WMWA get the better of you for most of the match. I don't know, you had me nervous for a few seconds, but not that nervous. 
you, I always like having you watch my back. And while we're on the matter of TaylorMade, he's all right too. He, he went out like seven, eight months. So I want everyone to throw something up for TaylorMade real quick. But just, let's just give him a round of applause because you know, he's great. Oh! oh. But Aaron Douglas, <laughs> Aaron Douglas, you're not so great. You know, you come out and you say you're the greatest. We're all for one. You're all for yourself. And I'm tired of it. You know, you can come out and say you're the greatest, but you know, act the way you do. But when you cost me my match with Bobby Otis last week, you put Dawson in control of the show, and now I know he's gonna screw me when he comes out later tonight. And you know what? With your, without your cousin in the pocket, you would just become a whole lot less useful to me. So I'm done with you. Set him up. Hit him, hit him with your finisher, then your finisher. We're gonna teach him a lesson. You were part of the best stable in WWE history. Now you're done. Hold on a second. Now do it. Count him. One. We don't need you anymore, Aaron. You ruined it. You know, I've been here since the beginning of the times of the WMWA, and uh, over time I've become a little bit of a, of a, a historian, if you will, of the company. And uh, thinking back, you know, we're at the 113th show, this show here today, and um, 100 shows before that, the 13th show was the first ever Six Pack Challenge, where, as you know, I was uh, going in as... Uh, heavyweight champion for my first time. Now I am a four time, just gotta reiterate that. I'm a four time heavyweight champion. Uh, but the six pack challenge was a thing, uh, a, a monumental period of time uh, match because you get to see the best of the best and who can endure through five other guys to win the heavyweight title. So Thinking back at that, and looking back and thinking toward the future, uh, Rush is going to be involved. And Rush, think about this. Your chance to cement your place in the, the history and archives of the WMWA by competing in a six-pack challenge. Uh, those other contenders uh, will be named soon, uh, but rest assured, Rush, as long as I'm commissioner, you're going to be challenged. <laughs>